anybody with questions that you would like to ask Petra? We've got her. She's staying for lunch, but we have some questions. I functioned as an associate tutor with Aberdeen University and the Highland Partnership during the PGDE programme from 2005 to 2008. Uh, I spoke to uh, my former line manager through that, and he was talking about not replacing the associate tutors as such, but looking at some kind of fellowship partnership between region and uh, Aberdeen Uni. Uh, is that the kind of thing you envisage? We are looking at all kinds of models. I mean, that could be one of them. The, the last thing we want is uniformity. In this, so if it's something that works for you and that, that it works in the system, that would be fantastic. Uh, my name's Rob Mackay, uh, EIS Learning Representative. We've talked today about from good to great. Yep. My concern is that how many extra hours will teachers have to put in to get to great? I'm not surprised by the question, so I was expecting it. I'm very aware that in the past, uh, doing staff development, getting extra credits, getting the status that you have, you were provided with additional money. Salary increases as well, which is a reward. This is not the case anymore. So the extra hours, I don't know how many extra hours. The only answer I can give you is that professional development is something that keeps you alive that inspires you, that makes you enthusiastic, and that keeps you passionate about what you are doing. We as the National Implementation Board, we obviously do not have a say about salaries or money, so that is not our job. So our big task is to try and convince you that it is worthwhile putting these hours in. And that's all I can say, but I do understand your concerns. Could I add on to that as well with our contractual 35-hour CPD? We've all been there and been at a CPD event and wondered. But if all the CPD that is available to us that we take up is of high quality, <coughs> then we can use that 35 hours much more constructively than we necessarily have been in the past. And that's why we're looking towards the master's level CPD, <coughs> professional um, recognition of courses, and I hesitate to use that word, more experiences, so that we can have more confidence that what we do engage with we're going to get something back that can impact on our practice and really have a quality 35-hour CPD. That's an ambition, and it's an ambition we can all help lead. As Petra says, if we use our own expertise and say, hang on, I'm good at this, I can deliver a CPD experience or help develop or contribute or be involved in, in ensuring it's meeting the needs of the teachers round about me. Yes, also, I have some international experience, and telling you about something that is better than in Scotland, Germany, for example, when it comes to professional development and teachers. I chatted to somebody over coffee earlier about that. The example was that a teacher friend of mine was given uh, two weeks during term time to do uh, an Italian language course in Italy. And the reason why she was given that opportunity was that uh, she was teaching largely Turkish children uh, and uh, the idea was to uh, make teachers aware about the difficulties that people have whose, whose language is not, first language is not German, and to give uh, teachers more intercultural understanding. So they offered during term time a language of choice in the country of choice, fully paid for. And she did profit from it a lot. She loved it a lot as well because she stayed in Tuscany for two weeks, all paid for, which was great. And this is something that we certainly do not have in Scotland. But then, if I go to England, I feel that uh, in, in my perhaps naive belief of having moved from England to Scotland, so many things are better here. I feel that teacher education is better, schools are better in Scotland than they are in England. I feel that maybe due to your philosophy, maybe due to the smallness of the country as well, there is much more for coherence, much more in believing in our school system, much more believing also in, in academic qualification, academic backgrounds, how important this is, the importance of education. So I do feel much more positive than perhaps many of you do about the future of, of Scotland's uh, schools and teacher education.
Do we have any further questions or would you like to pick up on any of these points? People are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'd like to give a round of applause, please, Petra, thank you very much.